Welcome in, Wiffle Ball fans. I'm here with Matt Ogden of the Lake Hawks uh, for the 2018 Summer Interview Series. How are you doing today, Matt? Good. Glad to be here. All right, so can you let the viewers at home know a little about your FLT history? Um, in the inaugural season, I was a member of Team 3. Uh, my teammate, Caden Stork, and I won the championship. We're very proud of that. Um, T or the second year of the FLT, I was a member of the process. Um, the third year, um, I was a member of Team 3. Uh, last season, I was a member of the Lake Hawks, and again this year, I will be playing for the Lake Hawks. So you're a fifth-year player, and you'll be teaming up again with Daniel and Caden. So uh, to, let's let the fans at home get a little taste of Matt Ogden. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> how old are you, Matt? Uh, I'm 20 years old. And I assume you're in college? Yep, I attend uh, Missouri S&T in Rolla, Missouri. Go Miners. All right, now a big theme of the interview series has been Fortnite. We know you're not the biggest Fortnite player, but uh, how many wins do you have in Fortnite? I have one win. Um, it was a duo win with Tanner Peterson, and I'm very proud of it. I got the who winning kill. Who say? Who got the last kill? Yeah. <laughs> Is it 2v1? Uh, and then another one. Where's your favorite spot to land in Fortnite? Oh, it's got to be Junk Junction. That's where all the real the real players land. Nobody knows Junk or Wailing Woods. That's two places to go. Yeah. All right, so now let's get in some FLT questions here. If you uh, if your team couldn't win this year, who would you want to win? Um, I'd want Team OVO to win. Um, I really think uh, Tate and Fish um, could pull it off this year. Uh, Tate's a really good player, uh, and so is Fish. Um, two good guys. Um, I'd really like to see them win it. All right, now I got a real tough question for you here. I'm going to have to read it word for word because I don't really understand it either. All right. So how does string theory try to unite quantum mechanics with general relativity? I have no idea. Um, I don't got an answer for you there. Um, <laughs> give me a week. I, I maybe could give you an answer by the tournament or something. But All right, well. I'm going to have to pass on that question, Tanner. All right, well, here's, a, here's an easier one. What's your best FLT memory? Oh, best FLT memory is winning uh, the championship for the inaugural season. Um, uh, that's a moment I'll never forget. Um, always have that ring. Um, Caden and I will share that memory for, for the rest of our lives. All right, now you guys did win it in the first year, but how do you expect you guys to do this year? Uh, I expect us to win it. Um, we're a competitive team. Um, Daniel and Caden are two of the youngest players in the league, but they have five years of experience. Um, they've been developing a lot over these years. Uh, they've gotten bigger and stronger. Um, and I think they can really hold their own against the older players in the league. Um, I think we all like playing with each other. We had good team camaraderie, and I think uh, we stand a very significant chance to win it this year. All right, now you said you have Daniel and Caden, two young players. You guys have are all five-year players this year, a couple firecrackers on your roster. Who do you think is going to be your team MVP this year? Um, I think it'll be Daniel. Um, he's gotten a lot stronger since last year. Um, he could uh, hit a lot of home runs for us. Um, it would be a big difference for us uh, in the game. Um, uh, he also won the home run derby the past two years. Um, I'm looking for him to do that again. And with his power, he could he could be a real difference maker in this tournament. All right, now you said you expect you guys to win it. Uh, what place would your team have to get for you for this year to be considered a success for the Lake Hawks? Um, I'd say third place. Um, I'd like to be in the upper half of this league at least. Um, this will be the most competitive tournament we've ever had. Um, having eight teams, uh, every team has a solid player. Uh, a lot of good returning players and the, and the players that are uh, rookies this year are all um, very solid players. Um, I'd say third place is a goal to shoot for. I really don't want to be in the Jake the Snake game. That means only we have only get to play six innings of wiffle ball. Uh, not a lot of fun. Um, that means I'd be umpiring the rest of the day, so uh, I'm trying to avoid that. But um, I say third place would be good to shoot for. But I expect our team to win. But I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be unhappy if we got second or third this year. All right, and if you could just guess, what do you think the top three teams are going to look like at the end of the FLT this year? Um, well, I'd go with our team first, the Lake Hawks, winning the championship. Uh, second place, I'd go with the Apes. Um, Mark's a really good player. Won MVP in Cy Young last year, and him and Tanner love playing together and are a great team. I expect them to do well this year. And third, I'd go with the American Mambas. Um, they have three veteran players, um, guys that can really hit the ball. They might struggle 
with pitching this year, but uh, I think they stand a real significant uh, chance to make some noise in the tournament. All right, well, this has been Matt Ogden of the Lakehawks. Matt, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. This has been the summer interview series. Stay tuned for the next episode and the FLT this year on August 11th. We'll see you then.